Aviation's future taking center stage today as top lawmakers worry about commercial service in and out of Williamsport's airport. Yeah, they discuss some issues with rural airports with a focus on the Williamsport area. And Eyewitness News reporter Sean Coffey joins us live tonight with the details. Sean? Candace, Nick, good evening. Williamsport Regional Airport currently has commercial service, but after American Airlines pulled out of the market this past fall, and with fears rising, they'll do so again once this latest round of coronavirus relief funding expires in March, lawmakers said they needed to know more. What happened uh, and how uh, this affects rural Pennsylvania, especially uh, the like coming Williamsport County region, and uh, that's the story that we want to tell. Local and state officials, including State Senator Gene Yaw and Congressman Fred Keller, gathered virtually on Thursday to explore the best path forward for rural aviation in the Keystone State. Of specific interest, Williamsport Regional Airport, which had its commercial service suspended, dropped, then resumed amid federal battles for coronavirus relief funding. There's a lot of reason for commercial airline service to be successful in Williamsport. The question for me becomes is why hasn't American been able to be successful in Williamsport? The airport's executive director, Richard Howell, says asking those questions at the federal level is the best way to change the status quo. And bringing out this information and demonstrating what's going on here gives, you know, uh, a frame of reference for our federal congressional delegation to be able to say, okay, we need to do something about this. Like Comey County commissioners also attended the hearing. Commissioner Rick Mirabito says in the absence of federal regulations protecting service to smaller airports, commercial providers like American have been able to make the rules. Right now we're being treated like second-class citizens when it comes to air service. They come, they go, they change flights, they change planes. So it's a big problem that we have to address if we expect the economies in rural America to thrive. Mirabito believes that economic impact could spell serious danger for the region down the line. People need to know when they're investing in an area that they can get executives in and out in direct flights. They need to know that they're not going to have to drive several hours to get to an airport. As of right now, Howell says he does expect American service here to end on March 28th once that most recent round of CARES funding expires. And while that funding timeline may change and the airport is still in talks with other commercial providers, Howell says he does believe area flyers once again will be without a commercial provider for some period of time. Live in Montoursville, Sean Coffey, Eyewitness News.